Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 41 of Less Platinum Demon Souls Remake. Alright, let's just talk quickly to her, see if she said, says anything new. Are you certain it would work? Yeah, and go here. Once, I lusted after Demon Souls. I passed the Fisher into Boletaria, but became trapped by the Nexus. Then, the King's Executioner, Meralda, chained me up inside that tower. My thirst for demon souls is no more. On the contrary, I find such power dangerous. Hmm. Anything else? I feel great misgivings about Freik. I was branded a witch at a very young age and have been persecuted ever since. Although I never had ill intentions, this black craft of mine is intrinsically evil if there is a god he gave us souls to do good not to practice witchcraft my accusers detested my dark arts for good reason for the path I have taken is tainted this has been one of my realizations since coming to Boletaria but I am afraid that Freik too has ventured down the wrong path. He has become obsessed with the dark arts. But I am okay, I owe so that's it. Peace. I'm not going to learn anything from her just yet. Uh, we'll probably do that after I beat the boss. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and defeat this guy. Um, all right. So in order to actually, uh, we need to we need to get there first. So we're going to be. Uh, going through the stage again, not the entire stage because we've unlocked the shortcut But we do have to go through a decent portion of it um, This boss is not particularly challenging um, however, there is something that you need to be aware of and This is exactly the reason why I uh, created a backup save um, so uh, Upon saving Bior of the Twin Fangs um, You will be able to utilize him in the battle so it's going to be a like a co-op battle um, with the a computer controlled Bior of the Twin Fangs. And you might think, all right, well, that will make it uh, a lot easier. And yeah, it will. Um, the boss that we're going to fight is not um, like he doesn't have that much health and Bior is extremely strong. Uh, let me just. Yep. And Bior is extremely strong. So that's obviously going to make it uh, much easier. However, uh, you need to make sure, and I believe this is an absolute um, must, you need to make sure that Bior survives the fight. Now, this is still not that challenging because Bior has a decent amount of health, and even though the boss is quite uh, strong in terms of physical damage, can I please hit? Thank you. Even though the boss is quite strong in terms of physical damage, um, he uh, Bior is is a, a tank. Like he is, he does so much damage, and he. Uh, and he can take a lot as well. Um, but it's still going to be a challenge. So this is why I chose not to, or chose to um, do a backup save. This is what I was talking about with my practice. I screwed up, he died, and basically that meant that I wouldn't be able to complete a future quest, um, which uh, screwed me out of the Platinum. Um, I could have done it in New Game Plus probably, but I thought I just want to do it now. Another thing to note is uh, do not use Poison Cloud. <laughs> That is uh, one of the big reasons why I screwed up myself. Do not use Poison Cloud. Hopefully I can hit, yeah? Alright, so here's the thing that sucks with these guys. So you can use Soul, Soul Ray on them. Uh, let me try and do this. You can use Soul Ray on them, especially when they're in a line like that. It works even better. Ooh. But you have to be careful because once they raise their shield, it will not do as much damage. And they can actually heal, so... Can I roll? I do not know how I got away from that. I'm gonna heal over here. I'm gonna use my... Uh, I can't move. <laughs> I just got stuck. I was trying my best to, to get away from him, but he just put himself in such a position and I was getting thrown off with uh, changing my weapon back and forth and back and forth from my... Silver Catalyst. I wanted to use um, the shield actually to sort of have him deflect 
have him get deflected off my shield in order to uh, finish him. Because that's what the spear guys are the weakest to. You might remember the one that we killed uh, very, very early on in the playthrough. Um, his biggest weakness is just a shield. It That spear bounces right off and uh, it makes it a lot easier to take him out. But I got a little uh, confused there. It's amazing how challenging it is to remember like what what weapon you're on um, and then trying to account for buffering inputs and stuff because you might be like spamming the button going oh, I need to change back to my sword I need to change back to my sword and then by the time you've done that you change the weapon like seven times <laughs> and you're like oh crap so that's that's what's challenging now luckily I didn't die more than twice so that's good during practice I think I lost like 60 thousand souls in like one go <laughs> which is not good not fun one two okay okay hang on this is where things get a little tricky chop chop good good and good avoid I'm probably gonna run out of my like in a second. I'll try and weaken all of them. Okay, so as you can see, it did like 19 damage afterwards. So I'm gonna run. Alright, that's plenty far. Perfect. Okay, I think I killed one. Let's try and do this. Beautiful. And block. Avoid attack. All right, good. We did it. Nice. And they seem to have like a pretty much guaranteed chance to drop a uh, full moon grass. Uh, you can only collect up to twenty-five of those, though, or you can only ha hold up to twenty-five of those, I should say. All right, here we go. So we're gonna try the boss. Um, let's hope that this goes well. You'll be able to see Bior here on the right. You can kind of just barely see him through the the mist gate. Um, it's hard to tell, but he's right there. Uh, so we're going to get a cutscene and we're going to fight. Now, in terms of the way I like to do this boss, um, I don't know if it actually works, but, uh, well, first of all, I want to have full moon grass because he can hit pretty hard. Um, you could use Sol Ray if you want, but you might hit be all with it. You could use Flame Toss if you want, you might hit be all with it. With it. Um, I recommend just sticking to our plan of using the sword and hopefully Cloak will make it so that the boss will target um, Bior a little bit more than you. Even though we want him to survive, he can still take quite a bit of punishment. So fingers crossed, it's easy to lose this fight, but it's also easy for Bior, or it's not as easy for Bior to die. So we're just gonna try that. All right, Cloak and let's go. Alright, so this is the Penetrator, Giggity. Alright, there's uh, Bior. Bior's attack was incredibly uh, powerful. Um, as you can see, Penetrator's attack does significant damage. But Bior can survive. Well, to me and to him. We're in agreement, right? The Penetrator probably has the highest body count. Giggity. <laughs> okay, while well, he's doing that. Wow, how did I do... That was... Okay, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> okay, I have the Avarice Ring on. Man, I almost died. Alright, Brother in Arms. That's what you get for using Bior. And Penetrate's Trophy. One more demon downed. <laughs> okay, yeah, so foolishly, to give you an idea of like what I did in my playthrough, was I used Poison Cloud on Penetrator and... Um, 
Bjorg got poisoned as well. And then after the battle was over, he just kept taking poison until he died. And he just kept fighting me and I couldn't do anything about it. All right, let's see what he has to say. Fine work back there. Then again, how could a demon ever stand up to a bona fide a knight? <laughs> Now, you uh, go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. Okay. And he's sleeping again. Alright, cool. One more time. Hm. I like how you said bona fide knight. Is that how you're supposed to pronounce it? It's like, it's like one of those things where I always got confused. I think like when I was a kid, it was Gift of the Gab, and now every time I hear it, it's Gift of Gab. So I don't know what the what the correct one is. Anyway, we get the Silver Demon Soul, and we're gonna head back to the Nexus. Hooray! Another boss down. How many bosses are left? One. Is it just one? One or two? I think one or two. I can't quite remember. Um, all right. Now I quickly want to go over to uh, Yuria just to see what spell I can learn with the silver demon soul I think if yeah a uh, cursed weapon strengthen and cursed right hand weapon uh, magic derived from the soul of the penetrator demon use catalyst equipped in the left hand to greatly strengthen but also curse the weapon in the right equipped in the right symbolizes the mighty sword wielded by the penetrator that has slain countless warriors who bravely faced the demon hmm okay so I wonder if it it probably like does some kind of has some kind of negative effect on you as well all right, uh, let's go level up. Talk to Bior actually quickly. Do you intend to challenge the king? You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. The king is defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing drake. I defeated even myself. That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. <laughs> One more time. That line sound like he he does it really well, and it it reminds me of um, Leonard Nimoy, who did the voice of um, Master Xehanort, and now Christopher Lloyd, I think, did it in the that Melody of Memories game. And Christopher Lloyd's amazing, but like Leonard Nimoy just had the perfect voice for that. Uh, all right, let me level up again. So one of those, one of those, and I don't have enough for anything else. All right, let's do that. Cool. Um, let's go over here. Repair. We can also use the Silver Demon Soul to get. Uh, where is it? Oh, nothing from here. Okay, that's all right. Uh, we saw this one. Storm Demon Soul. I don't think we saw this one. Anti Magic Field. Um, creates a field around the castle which nullifies magic. One of the greatest of all miracles, it symbolizes the power of God in opposition to the forces of evil, and it is an offer of aid to all, all who are moral and righteous. Uh, resurrection, resurrects phantoms in their own world. I don't really get that one, but anyway, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's PvP stuff. Turns nearby phantoms to their respective worlds, restoring their bodies in the process. Interesting. Um, so maybe it's like if they, assist you in soul form with the white stone you can use that something like that i don't know banish i think we saw that one as well send them back and cure okay so now i want to just quickly check uh sage freaks ones and then we're going to kill ourselves on stage two again and we'll go from there uh we can you we can get light weapon so obviously we've got cursed weapon we can get light weapon with uh silver demon soul and same thing symbolizes the penetrator's mighty sword but obviously it's not like the dark arts Yuria seems to be concerned with uh freak being uh closer to the dark arts which is interesting uh, all right so how many what's our tendency on all right we're doing pretty well for the digger king i'm gonna go throw myself off the cliff again and then i'll probably do I'll probably like kill myself more times in stage two um, and get to pure black and do that um, that world tendency event as well, uh, which would be nice. Man, so basically the idea was like, if I had not screwed up that um, Valley of Defilement thing with the um, with Black Phantom Gulf Inland, I would have... Um, 
I would have done that part, got the got the ring and everything, and then it would have been just like everything else would have been the same, and it would have worked out really really well. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a break now. I have five minutes left for this episode. I'm gonna take a break and do a bit more practice, and then go from there. So everything worked out. So my save file is is fine. Let me just check. Yeah, we're really close now. Probably two or three more deaths on on world two, and we're good. Uh, all right, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. So let's grab. Uh, I think probably three more should do. So I'll just do four. I already had one, so that takes it to five. I am going to get my tendency for Stone Fang Tunnel all the way to pure black right now. So I've uh, been practicing a lot, and I've pretty much concluded well i think i've got like my path to the end sorted now which is really nice so i'm kind of in the mood to try and do as much as i possibly can uh in this recording session and just get as close to the end as possible because uh, on my practice i'm practically there just have to do like one more thing and i'm there all right <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill ourselves a few more times here in um in world two and then we're gonna have to do a few things um with with these, uh, with pure black tendency. The first main thing that we need to do is we need to kill um, Scarva or Scova the Wanderer um, in order to increase our character tendency. Um, and then, but before we do that, there are actually a few other things that we want to do. Namely, the, the first main one is we need to get a gold coin. I don't believe I actually picked one up as of yet, which really sucks, but um, I don't think I did. Um, a gold coin is an item that uh, the officials can drop and what it does is it basically increases your luck um, for a little while. Uh, however, it's required uh, because it is considered, I guess, a shiny item by the uh, sparkly the crow or a sparkly item, whatever you want to call it. Let me just check now after the three. And trading it to him will give you a ring that we need for the King of Rings trophy. So that's why we need it. Uh, okay, looks like I have to do one more. That sucks. Um, yeah, tra uh, collecting one is needed to trade for a ring, so we need to grind that. And the best time to grind it is when we're in pure black world tendency. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, as far as I'm aware, the best place to grind it off is, um, is an official that is to the west of, uh, you know what, let me quickly go back to here because I need something. Um, an official that's to the west of 2-2, two, two, which is basically where I'm going to go. And in order to kill two birds with one stone, I'm also going to show you something else. Uh, I need this one here. So we're going to go over here to Yuria, and we were talking to her. And I think we talked to her last time. I'm actually going to grab the Firestorm spell, um, and I'll show you exactly why. We could technically grab the um, the one for... Oh, hang on, I need, uh, I need to attune... We could grab uh, Fireball, but I'm going to grab um, this one instead for a very specific reason. Now, it does require three memory slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Ring of Magical Nature, which I forgot to talk about last time. Uh, this was um, obtained upon or just before rescuing uh, Yuria. It increases your magic memory capacity by one. So uh, I now have four for magic memory, and that allows me to use Firestorm. And I'll explain why that's... Uh, re not required, but it's a good idea to, to have it. Um, so let's see if we can do this real quick. Because I don't have much time left in this episode. So I'm going to go to Tunnel City. And funnily enough, we're going to go to the west, where the official is. Now the frustrating thing about this is that when I was, um, when I was practicing, uh, I had already obtained the, um, the gold coin. Damn it. Watch out for these guys because they have that same thing I've talked about in the past where they, depending on when you hit them, they might not get sca staggered and that can cause big issues. So what you do is you run through here and yeah, when I was doing this on practice, I actually didn't get a gold coin, but uh, I already had one, so I was a bit luckier. But there's an official right here. One, two, three. So this is the quickest one to farm. Okay, only a full moon grass. That sucks. Whatever. We're going to use this and we're going to, yeah, that's the way we want to go. We're going to use a cloak. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like 
do this a ton off screen, but I will definitely do it the first time just to show you guys. So if you remember, this is the area where we fought two black phantoms um, and there was a crystal lizard nest um, that I didn't go to because I didn't want to um, sort of like waste them in a sense. So there's, there's a crystal lizard nest. I'm actually going to wait here for one second just to get my cloak off. All right, here we go. So I'm going to cloak, I'm going to run down here. This is like relatively effective. I can't, I've never been able to get all of them. It's uh, rather difficult to get all of them, but it's still a good idea. So kill this one. And then what you want to do is you want to roll down and firestorm. And it looks like I completely missed. And now I don't have enough. <laughs> well, that sucks. That went really bad, and I'm pretty sure I saw that the one I did kill, I think, fell through the earth again for the second time. <laughs> That's really unlucky. Uh, but it's okay. Um, the other reason I went here is because if we climb up here, we can gain access. Uh, oh yeah, also when you walk off that, make sure you land on this and go across this in here. You can collect a pure hard stone and a pure sharp stone. Um, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that again next episode. I'll just show. So I'll go evacuate and um, I'll be down here again at the next episode. And I'll just show another another go of it. Um, and then I'll probably grind it off screen for a little bit and we'll uh, and I'll show you what to do after that as well. Um, okay, so we'll leave things there and we'll come back next time. I want to thank you all for watching episode 41 of Let's Platinum Demon Souls Remake. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.